Okay. Well, we can test out Color Man, and I believe on the other side of this little teleporter here, we're gonna have quite a thing to test him on. Hey there, big guy. Surprise! If you can get a good bounce with Color Man's chip against Big Eye, you can shred him pretty easily. He's in control of the Foot Stomp chip. Technically, so was that giant flappy enemy from the Quick Man stage, but, uh... Yeah, given the choice, I'd rather grind against Big Eye, thank you very much, and not have to deal with those Force Beams. I believe this area loops around, so I'll get that data we saw a little later. Familiar little setup. So yeah, what chip are they in charge of? Iron Body. Well, hi there, Beak. I forgot you were in this game. I want to say you can get three-way chips from Beaks. Yes, even the electric traps are here. I wonder who we could possibly be facing at the end of the power plant. And we get Recover 150. That's rather nice. And here we have... Cold Punch. I was actually buying some of those toward the end of the chip grinding, so it's rather nice to have some of those, because I didn't have that max out, actually. Oh, you didn't drop anything for me. Oh, bugger. Oh, well, <laughs> it only took two to kill you, okay. And since I missed getting this data, I'll just double jump to get it this time. And it was an HP memory. Okay. Sooner or later, we'll stop falling back down here. We can charge up nice and fast now, and that starts making quite a difference. Thankfully, it's one of the least obtrusive charging sounds in the Mega Man series. The one from Powered Up was pretty obnoxious, I must say. Are we having what I think we're having? Yes, we are. But it's a pretty simple pattern, that one. You pest. Ah. That was all kinds of badly timed. Overall, though, this stage is pretty straightforward. Well, when that doesn't happen, anyway. At least I got you to drop a chip. Incredibly in the way there, Fishy. Incredibly in the way. Let's just take care of that little problem right now. There now. And we'll just do that. I love your double jump. Will you run away with me?
Let's see. Another power-up? Sweet. So now we can start powering up rapid. Health recharge, thank you very much. So yes, let's go ahead and equip Needleman. High Cannon, Rimma Plug, Gutsman, and Sonic Wave. All right. Let's do this. Electman? What's an X-World 3 Navi doing here? You're here sniffing around the Zero Virus, so I'm gonna delete you. What's that you say? So, the Zero Virus is a World 3 plot after all? Hee hee hee. Delete. Delete. Wait. Lan, there's something odd about this, Navi. What the? Gonna delete you. Delete you with my lightning! He's insane. I think somebody hacked him and took control. Dang, let's talk about this later. Mega Man, battle routine set. Execute. So elect men can be tough if you don't know what you're doing. If you shoot him, he warps around behind you, so be ready to slide away and counterattack. And then he'll try and do that. But overall, if you know what you're dealing with, he actually isn't that difficult of a fight. And time freezing chips actually work on him. Unlike quick men. So Elect Man is actually pretty simple, unfortunately. He doesn't live up to the his old nightmare status. Oh well. I still love Elect Man. He's probably one of my favorite Navis. Very stylish looking. Ugh. What the heck am I doing? And why am I damaged? This is too much for me. Jacking out. Elect Man, wait. But no such luck. It's almost as if he's not aware of us. Yeah, he must have been hacked, but why? It's like Electman was waiting in ambush for us. Len, Mega Man, can you hear me? I have something urgent to tell you. Dad, what's up? Somebody is indiscriminately sending email to Scilab personnel and official net battlers. The same email message. What message? The email provides information about the Zero Virus. But when you go to the location specified, a powerful hacked Navi attacks. <laughs> no kidding! So, Len, if you receive any suspicious email like this, ignore it. <laughs> too late, Dad. You know, this might mean... Yes, it means that the Zero Virus and the hacking program were both most likely created by the same person, or the same organization. You think it's a net crime organization like the World 3? Yeah, maybe. Well, I don't see anything here, so let's jack out. You're right. Time to find another clue. So at least that network was pretty painless. But now we're out of incidents. Darn, not a single clue. What's wrong? Oh, uh... Hmm. Huh. You know, you haven't been yourself lately. Um, Len? My processes are so slow. He's been infected with HughesNet! What? What's wrong, Mega Man? Hey! I'm... sorry. Hang tough. I'll call Dad. I'm turning the PET's power off for now. <whistles> Ominous music! To get right to the point, Mega Man is infected with the Zero Virus. No! Can we cure him somehow? Well, I administered emergency first aid, so he's okay for now, I think. But until I know what the Zero Virus really is, I can't cure him fully. Dang it, the Zero Virus. What could it be? The Zero Virus will infect you no matter what armor you wear. Once you're infected, getting rid of the viruses is very difficult. Apparently, there may be clues in a place known as the Zero Account. Zero Account? Yes. Chod said that the World 3 is still plotting something, right? So I looked over some old World 3 data again, and found... The Zero Virus was created by Wily in a cyber world called Zero Account. Seriously? So the World 3 is connected with this whole thing after all. No, the World 3 cancelled development of the Zero Virus for some reason. Zero Account was left abandoned for some reason. Zero Account, a world discarded by the World 3. Do you know where it is? 
I have no idea as to where it is yet, but I plan to continue our investigation. Ah, okay, I see. Thanks, Dad. Len? Mega Man, how are you feeling? I had Dad give you first aid, but... Uh, yeah, I feel okay. Ah, great, but you should probably avoid virus busting for a bit. You know, Len, I've been thinking. Yes? I get the feeling that if the Zero Virus isn't stopped, it'll ruin Cyberworld. I guess you're right. So I think we should do as much as we can. Also, unless we figure out what the Zero Virus really is, my processes will slow down again, and I may cause you some problems, Len. Hmm, you're right, Mega Man. Alright, so let's go look for Zero Account and find the main Zero Virus. Uh, yeah, but how do we find where Zero Account is? Well, Higsby used to work for the World 3. Maybe he knows something. Right, okay, I'll send Higsby some email and ask him. Yeah. Okay, I sent the email. And already we have email back. From Higsby. Zero account. Higsby here, huh? I read your email, huh? Zero account, huh? I've heard rumors about it, but I really don't know any detailed info, huh? Well, I do know about a run-down old area that was abandoned by the World 3, huh? It's located past the security of the global area connected to Dex's PC. The link is down, so it's a forgotten area that nobody visits, huh? Here, I've attached the security passcode to this email, huh? If you run into danger, jack out right away, huh? And we get a level 4 code. We also have mail news, using chips well. Some chips exist that have secret uses other than just attacking. For instance, the dash attack can be used to move through the air for a short distance, and chips such as cold punch can push cubes and break through weak walls. Chips have various other functions as well, so if you use them, you may be able to obtain mystery data in otherwise unreachable places. Well, we already found out about dash attack. So with that, we've taken care of another incident, but we have somewhere to go next time. And so, until then, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you again in the next video. Until then, fare thee well.